Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We're building Emma's art stand. It's so cute. These these Lego friend sets, these beginning of the 2018 Lego friend sets are mostly designed to be hanging out in the Heart Lake City Park. So Emma is in the park, busy with the pictures she's already painted. She's got two bags here of stuff we need to build and we've got her paintings here on the stickers and of course we've got the instruction book. So Emma in this set is really very cute. She's got her little bobby socks on, little ankle socks and uh, socks with sandals by the look of it. Her shirt is just adorable. There's a little kitty pocket there and ruffles down the front and a little frilly collar. It's so girly but it's it's like cute girly it's like almost like kawaii girly it's really really adorable <laughs> so we've got emma in her new guise here with her new look face and she's got her sunglasses on her head because she's heading out to the park but she also comes with a helmet with her black plait down the back because she is riding a scooter in fact the scooter is busy dragging her van what is happening with the visor on this i think i've put it on the wrong way around let's check it Let's check it if I put it in upside down. Hold on, that doesn't go down either. That's definitely not the right way. So this was the... Ooh. That's the way I had it originally. That's as far as that visor goes down. That can't be right. That doesn't cover her eyes. There's no protection in that at all. Am I doing something wrong? That no, That's as far as it goes. Okay, Lego, this is, I don't know if I've done something wrong, but this is where it should be, but it's not actually clicked into the little notches on the side. That's where it sits. Hmm, I don't like that. Oh, all right, I'll move on because Chica the cat has turned up. She accompanies Emma out to the park because it's nice to have a companion when you're out drawing and selling things. So Chico, who's got the cutest little heart-shaped fur patch on the front there, did you notice that, is heading out with Emma. And first up, she needs the scooter. This these Lego Friends scooters are simply adorable and I love it in this aqua minty colour. I actually don't know. What, what colour would you call that? I think it's aqua. I think it's aqua. It might be peppermint? No, aqua. I hate these wheels. I can't get them tires on properly. I have to use my teeth because the little pointy pokey, the spindly bits have just hurt my fingers so much to try and get them on. They are the only bits of Lego that I really detest putting together. It's putting those particular wheels onto those particular wheel bits the turny things I'm sure they have a proper name okay we've got this scooter together while I was ranting about the wheels <laughs> and Emma can go for a bit of a ride and check it out make sure I've put the rubber on these wheels correctly make sure they spin well Ooh, and she's got Chica on the on the back <laughs> nice and safely started on there which is good because she likes doing wheelies on her scooter which it's not designed for and the first part of the actual build is looks like it's going to be a cute little tree because we're in the park so that makes perfect sense and this here is her drawing or her painting easel and it, we kind of can't we can't angle it any further back but that's all right it's going to be at the perfect angle for the picture that she's currently working on which is one of all of the friends in their new heart lake hideout <laughs> that's what i'm calling it <laughs> it's not much of a hideout because it's really really big uh, and on the on the back here we've got a place to hold her sharpies or her pens because this one's not a painting this is a well she's doing it with pens the new pen piece which is really cool and yes definitely a tree and the tree has got purple flowers on it because that's Emma's signature color so everything in this part of the park is going to grow in purple. Is that how it works? I think it might. <laughs> so there's our tree, there's our easel, and a little bit of greenery down the bottom with a token red flower. And she even gets a seat with a cushion that has been stained with purple ink because she's using purple. That's her purple Sharpie. <laughs> Check it out. That's really cute. So she can sit here and she can draw. Well, she can stand here and draw. I should... She, she kind of can't sit and reach the easel, so we'll stand her in front of the picture and Chico can sit there and supervise from the seat. All right, now we need something to carry all of her art around in so she can put it out on display and hopefully, hopefully she can sell some of her artistic endeavours to people who are just wandering past in the park. We'll see how that works out later on when we play with it, see if she gets to sell any of her masterpieces. But before that, of course, we've got to build this mobile art stand and it's taking shape quite nicely. It's actually very nicely contained. It's quite a small little thing. And there's a bed for Chico. 
a teeny tiny little cat bed because cats get really tired all the time, especially when they're out in the park in the fresh air. So Chico can come and have a bit of a settle down in the art stand and be really safe. Look in here. Oh, and staying out of the traffic. That's also very important. We have got a hook on the front to actually attach it to the scooter when it's all done. Do you really think that teeny tiny scooter is going to be able to pull this Kind of big van thing. I don't know, we'll find out. We're up to bag number two and we're still building our art van, obviously. And we've got a hinge on the back, so there's going to be this big hinged wall so we can easily access the inside, which is cool. It's all cool. The design of this is just cute and really, really usable and really, really playable. This part here is the front bench and she's got her cash register here and places to put individual things that she's selling. Plus a cookie for the cat. <laughs> she might be selling that. Got a hundred dollar bill and a five cent piece. And over here, we have got to get some walls on. Oh, hold on. Before we put walls on, it looks like she's got a, is that a gray ice cream cone? Is she selling ice creams too? I don't know. She's selling some hair ribbons, of course, because she makes them, remember. And she's also selling a map of the park for any tourists who want to buy. This is kind of like a tourist stand too. And I love HLC, Hot Lake City Cup. So all of the important things that you might want to buy from a little souvenir art stand, as well as her artworks. And now we get our other hingy piece. No, the bit to go onto the hingy piece. That's better. With some nice big glass windows. And this is going to be essentially the back of the art stand. But look at that. It gives you really great visibility into the art stand. Lovely light. There's glass on either end as well. And it just looks really nice. Another piece of hinge on the top to make sure that's nice and secure. And then we get all of these nice smooth parts because obviously we're going to be able to take the roof off once we've built it. Now, that is not an ice cream stand. It is a stand to hold her helmet or to hold her hair when she's got a helmet on and riding the scooter. That's so cute. I love it when everything from the set can be self-contained within the set itself. <laughs> that was almost a tongue twister. I'm not certain that actually made sense. It made sense to me. Did it make sense to you? <laughs> I don't know. I hope it did. Okay, we're doing all right. And I haven't quite lost the plot yet. More of the nice smooth pieces on the top and those single studs on either side, which are going to hold the roof on really nice and securely. We need our little display walls, doors, front awningy things. No, that's not an awning. They're going to be opening. Look, see, that is the actual handle. And here's the first of her paintings or her drawings. There's, I think it's Stephanie kicking in the soccer field. We've already done that set. And here's Andrea at the puppet show. Looks like she's singing. So Emma has wandered around the park getting inspiration for her drawings. And now she's displaying them in her art stand and selling them. That's so great to get local inspiration of all the things her friends are up to too. And there are two different sizes of these pictures, have you noticed? So there are the square ones and the rectangular ones. And they're going to have different price frames. But in the inside here, we're going to need another one of those handles, which is a cute little flower. And here we've got some more of her pictures. This one is of Olivia's special Ghostbuster-esque vehicle for rescues. And this one is of Mia's tree house. I wonder if that's also in the park. I kind of assumed it was going to be in her backyard. And here is our price list. So the square ones are six somethings, dollars, rupees, rubles, pennies, pebbles, and the long ones are eight. So they're, they're not very expensive. You can take an artwork home today and put it on your wall and it looks fantastic displayed there on either side of the art stand. Now all we got left to do is put the roof on. And the roof is really nice. Look at it. It's in two different shades of purple because it's Emma, right? And we need the purple. And this does have, after we put our smooth bits on the top, oh, there's going to be a turny thing on the top. This has got an awning to overhang the front. So if it starts showering or sprinkling or just a little bit of rain, it's going to protect all those things that are sitting there on the front bench of the art stand. And on the top turny bit, we have got an Emma sign, which has been sticky taped on there and one side's peeling off. Looks like it's been exposed to the weather. There's bits of it that are starting to droop. <laughs> that's, that's really cute. <laughs> this, this is just in 
entirely adorable. It really is. I think we just need some, some wheels now. And these wheels, I do not hate these wheels. I am quite happy to put the rubber tire bit on because they are really easy to put on. And they don't have those pokey outy bits that stick into my fingers and make it really hard. So they were super easy. So let's put them on. And then we'll be able to take this van for a spin. So cute. So we can shut those little windows, attach the scooter. Uh, we need Emma. Hold on. She's stuck inside. How'd you come? Put your pen away. We'll get Chico out too. And we'll get your hat. <laughs> so many things to do before you can drive this scooter. But it's so easy. It's all there inside the art stand. And there's Chico. And there's the roof back on. Let's take it for a bit of a spin. And she didn't even run into the tree. I think she is proving to be the best driver out of all the Lego friends so far. And when she arrives, she can set it all up here. And if it's nice and peaceful, she can sketch away or she can draw. I love this set. I really think it's so fun and it's really, it's perfect for the Heart Lake Park. It really, really is. So let's send Emma out. It's the beginning of a brand new beautiful day. It's bright and sunshiny and Emma has come out to the park to draw and to sketch and to hopefully sell some of her pictures. This looks like a likely spot right here near this tree so she can set up, put your easel up here. It's a lovely day. We're not going to get rained on. It's perfect. And she can set up the picture that she's been working on. It's starting to look really great. And now, if she can just have some nice peace and quiet, she can get finished with that. But Chico's turned up. Hi, meow. What are you doing? What are you doing? Can I do it? Can I do it too? Meow, meow. Can I help? Oh, no. And here's Andrea. And here's Mia. So there's no peacefulness just at the moment. Andrea and Mia want to see what Emma's been up to. So Emma's going to have to actually open up this art stand, which she hasn't done. She just wanted to get into her drawing. It's not facing the right way. So the girls are going to help her turn it around because they are super duper strong and <laughs> they all fell over. Oh, but they did it. So opening up right into the girls' faces. Oh, but they're okay. Their noses haven't been squashed. Look at those new pictures. Mia loves this one. It's of the treehouse. Can I have this one? Yes, she can have that one. In fact, she gets to have that one without even paying for it. And Andrea has found the fantastic one of her singing. And Emma's not charging them for anything because after all, they are her friends. Mm, but she's running a business. But they love them. They're going to take them straight home and put them on their walls. Ah. <sighs> Well, I wonder if Emma's going to make any money today. Well, look, here's Stephanie's mum. She's seen the picture of, well, how does she know this is Stephanie playing soccer? She just knows because she's her mum. And she's paying $100 for this. She won't hear for it going any less. She thinks it's an absolute masterpiece. So Emma has made, well, I don't think she needs to make any more money today. So she can spend the rest of the day finishing up her picture. And while she's doing that, you've got to remember to subscribe. Check out some of the other Lego friend sets that I've built. See what else belongs in the Heart Lake Park. Let me know which one's your favourite set so far. I've built all the park sets, so they're all there to look at on video. And looks like Emma's finished. So, I think I'm finished too. Bye!